I have gladly accepted the invitation to speak to you in this unusual manner. The greatest expert of manufactured goods for head of the population in the whole world. Every voter must remember that the future destinies of the country and of the empire to try and avoid this war, to try and maintain the machinery of permanent peace. Members of that government do not hesitate to say that they desire to achieve the ruin of the British Empire. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. We are faced with a direct challenge to the authority of the United Nations. An act of aggression. The meeting of the NATO powers in Paris is an important event. It has also become an annual event. And we shall need the sympathy and the goodwill and understanding of everyone in the country, whatever their party or beliefs. When um, mind and heart uh, stand still, and one such is now. But that revolution cannot become a reality unless we are prepared to make far-reaching changes. That we shall show the same resolution and energy now that we have to act alone as the government. We are not going for a consumer boom on borrowed money. We're going to invest it in our future. He to be the executive and he wanted the Council of Ministers to be the Senate. No, no, no. I am not prepared to see the party I care for laid out on the rack like this for any longer. The values of justice and progress and community, the values that have guided me all my political life. Our country faces the biggest choice for a generation. Not give in, not give up, but fight. Russian officials said Britain is just a small island that no one pays attention. We may be a small island, but I tell you what, we're a great country. Agreed between the UK and the EU to a vote in both houses of parliament before it comes into force. It is still true that this is the biggest single challenge this country has faced since the war.